Alright, let's look at a VOD of a GOAT player. Fake. What are you gonna pick? Hog. This is really interesting. So a Reaper. Ryan Zarya with the Hog. So you really need to do a lot of picks. Let's see. They have long ranges. Nice hook. Nice, nice kill. your Anna doing? Okay, your Ryan got some heals. Why is this so awkward? He took a bunch of damage. Oh my god, your Anna. Yeah, like right here, what you're doing poking because you're feeding a bunch of all charge. Um. Yo, I get like. So your Anna's down. Yeah, I would say like right this moment, you shouldn't be keep fighting right here. You're just feeding. I mean, yeah, it's a little bit slow on the retreating. Oh my god, your Anna just triggers me. Oh my god. Yeah, you definitely took a lot of uh, damage here. Like right now? You're, you're taking so much damage. Let's look at the enemy comp. So other than break shield, you can't really find anybody. Right? And then when you take a lot of damage, it looks like your Anna likes healing you a lot too, because it's kind of easy. So that kind of take away um, the healing. For the Roadhog a little bit. And um, I say that like for your hog, um, you should try to be a little more disciplined about taking damage. So there were times like uh, I believe right here. <laughs> That's your Ryan, right? Where was it? Yo, why can't I get this? Yo, why can't 
I get this. Yeah, consider your comp. Reaper, this. You're a fat old battery for McCree and uh, Ash. You see that fat bob behind there? A lot of coming from you. Yeah, Gen Genji's much better. Yeah, first of all, we'll say don't play Hog. Most of part. Uh, if you have to, you have to be really disciplined about taking damage. Not taking damage. Treat Hog more like a, a DPS. Because you work all that time. Like, you're feeding to something like a uh, Nano. Nano and uh, a Bob. But what you end up getting is it, just a whole hog. So if like point for point trading alts, you're uh, at a disadvantage. <laughs> what the what? Oh my god, dude. I see that you like looking down on the floor a lot. <laughs> I think for against you, your 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 angles are. Grab you into it. Oh. So chaotic. Oh my god, Did you have to flect? No, you don't. Okay. Mm. I'll say, like, you, you definitely have time. Hold on. Okay, your team magically just dies. This is hiding here. You can, you can. You, you can work your way around behind here so when your front line comes like this way you create um, a threat from this direction or even behind there from this direction so you already know your front, front line kind of suck you, you need to exert more pressure So let's see. Is that McCree's shot? What's that line? Yeah, what I'm trying to do is, is um, I might poke this in, but let's see. 
Ryan's definitely better. Because uh, right now, his shield is not... Yeah, the... See the Zen? Right here. That would be a better target. But yeah, like, the, the offense will be so much better. Because you know your team already down, too. You don't have much to do. Oh, and this is just uh, risky. You're in the open. It's not good. Hold on a second. What were you trying to deflect? We're trying to deflect the. Uh... Yeah, I don't know why you try to use a deflect here. Are you worried about Hannah's sleep dart? By the way, this is McCree. He just ignores McCree. And I don't know what you're trying to deflect. Yeah, you didn't see the McCree. So you're going for the... Was the first one? Ghost Dog is the uh, Anna. Okay. Imagine you have a deflect right here. Right? You might survive this. Alright, so Tracer. Tracer be cool. Okay, Sombra. Translocator. Oh, the Zen isolated. All right, here's something I just want to bring up. You know, Sombra has a really long uh, reload time, so every of her bullet is important. I mean, you still got the one clip kill. It was pretty good, but um. Nice, nice. You hit all of them? Nice tracking. Yeah, what I'm saying, like, like from here on. It's actually not too bad, just a couple bullets. Hack. Oh, this one, yeah, especially on this one. Like, did you hit her on these shots? Did you hit her on these shots? Missed, missed. Those couple shots were good. And then, is 
circle shots. So what I'm trying to say is, because Sombra's ammo is pretty generous, right, 60, but her reloading time is pretty bad. So you got to have the discipline. If you're not on, you're, if you, you're not going to hit anybody, don't hold the trigger. Okay, see what I mean? Imagine you save all the bullets that you fire into like empty space or walls. You will have more ammo to finish her off. I mean, th this is good because, because uh, the tracking was there. And then you're dealing with a smaller hitbox with the, uh, a little better movement. Let's see. You see, you see? Like, you, you, you miss a lot of bullets. after you hack, hack her. Yeah, that's hitting nothing. See, the bullet's 52, 51. Like right here, hitting nothing. See, the bullet still goes down. Yeah, trigger discipline. Very, very important for Sombra. Also the same for Zarya, uh, Soldier. Not really for D.Va, because D.Va doesn't need a reload. Yeah, 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 this is, yeah. Nice that you still finish her off. Um, Yeah, again, like, you see how you, you could say some of the ammo. Your front line dies so much. Who is this? Fucking bloody ash. What's your HP right now? 135. You only take her one shot to kill you. One shot. Alright, let's see how long it takes you to recognize her. A second, two seconds. Oh. Right? <laughs> Didn't pay attention to her at all. Earlier, you missed out on McCree. Completely. Yeah. Let's see. Um, you even have the health pack. I mean, like right now. Uh, you guys are down a uh, uh, main tank. You should probably kind of group up anyway, right? So it, it's it's really worth the time uh, to heal yourself completely. I believe there's another mini over there. Like you, if you're cloaked, uh, it does. It really doesn't take that much time. So for this team fight, like first of all. You guys already down, um, uh, especially your main tank. You, you should engage uh, with the higher health than that. First of all. Um, secondly, you just saw that juicy zen. And you forgot about the ash. And then th this is the trigger discipline, you see? Like sh um, shooting into nothing. Yeah. Oh, 
but then your te team just clutched. Regroup so I can EV. We don't have to combine, we just have to follow up, that's it. Okay. I'm gonna EMP. No, 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 no. I mean, it works out good, but, um. I feel like you have a tendency to just completely ignoring Ash. Just saying. I, I definitely think um, instead of harassing the um, the hog over here. Yeah, that's already Ash again, like right here. You already saw the Ash. You can see the Ash. And then... Well, we don't have to combine, we just Like, ignore up, the... Ash? And then you decide to... Hack a hog. All this time... Okay. You have enough time... To actually... Stay cloaked. Like, go around. And harass the ash. Right? What's she gonna do? Right? Is she probably gonna drop, right? And then you EMP the whole thing. I'm gonna EMP? Yeah, you even saw the shots over there. The bullet. She's still shooting. She's still shooting. I mean, at gold, the Ash may not have the best aim. Um, if you go to a free for all death matches in the in the custom games, you can see some master diamond whatever GM Ash. You really learn how to learn. You you, you got to show them some respect. Just jumping open like this is uh, risky. Oh, no, 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 no. Ash on top. That's very good. All right, in the downtime, checking tabs. <coughs> Getting ready for next team fight. They're calling out on the ults. Nice shutting down your counter. Alright, let's back out it. You're winning this team fight. Kudos. But, um. See your positioning? Like right here. These guys in front of you. And there are other guys right behind you. You're squishy between like five guys. And then you had to translocate out. What if you take different position? Let's see. All right, let's. Can position somewhere like right here. 
so you're close to the um, the mini, right? Um, it's a good range. Just a couple feet over that way, right? He's doing a good range of shooting. And when when people pushed over here, you can easily. If you had to stay around here, right? When they got pushed over, um, you can just back into here. You have a wall as cover, right? You can rotate uh, against this wall to play around. That way you can put more damage, contribute more to your, uh, your EMP. So you don't have to translocate out, right? So that's a positioning, not necessarily cause you to die, but uh, you create less value. Boom. And then your your team kind of clean it up for you. It's good. So for high noon, can they shoot uh, the cloaked sombra? We have what? We have, uh, we do EMP hammer, cheddar. Yeah, you already took damage for a couple seconds. Um, I would say good habit is, uh, the moment you take damage, you, you start, um, AD, AD, even crouch spamming. Those will come really handy as you move up. Like the moment you, you take that damage, you start to AD strafe. Did you strafe? Let's see. Oh, form back and strafe a little bit. Yeah, you, you, you did strafe from forward and back, but um. So close. <laughs> so close. Is it possible for you to hack the Rhino? Mm. Nice kill. Yeah, like right here. You're, you're jumping too much. You're jumping too much. When you jump, your tra trajectory is really predictable. And for uh, projectile, Damage you like uh, Hanzo or, or um, Roadhog. Jumping just make them. You're giving themselves a uh, easier time hitting you. Yeah, Reaper now. Okay. Yeah, one thing to work on is uh, re reduce your, your jumps. And like right here, is, uh, it's again uh, the trigger discipline. Nice. 
back. Nice. Have the EMP. So is it possible for you to get on there? Oh. So usually high ground is, is uh, easy. So instead of cloaking, uh, translocate away, you can just uh, back off a couple steps. Yeah, also, I think, um, all right, pause a second. If you EMP or engage right here, your team has to come to this choke. Whereas, um, if you decide to engage them over here and you stay right here so that way it takes them a little more time to go through here they possibly burn a little more like cooldowns or resources in and then that way your team has the luxury of you know lots of covers room to maneuver and your opponents are crawled into this choke and you you don't have to really translocate out you can just take a step back so what do they have? Ash. Um, yeah, you, you can take a step back, unless Ash needs to burn her coach gun to contest you up there. And then by doing this way, uh, you have more room for cover. Uh, you don't have to translocate out. Like the moment you you you, you feel threatened, you can just take a step back and stuff. And then also your, your teammates will have easier time following up on your uh, EMP. And then because you guys are already having the control, by delaying the the, uh, the fights and still win it, you're putting more percentage for you guys. So that's kind of a con control map kind of strategy. Yeah, the jumps, the jumps. Can we get point, 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 point? For a hack? Far right, okay, good choice, nice pick. Can you hack a bob? <laughs> I'm curious. <laughs> oh my god, this is such a terrible bob. Get the mercy, the mercy, the mercy, the mercy. Trigger discipline. Nice. Like right here. Something I'm s slightly uncomfortable about. <coughs> That's very nice. Get the mercy, the mercy, mercy, mercy. Yeah, your approach to Ash could be a little better. Not not completely a straight line, but. a bit risky yeah 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 like I'm not crazy about the movement yeah it's better not to jump
All right. Um. Oh my god. So for hog, one, don't pick it, and two, when you do, put a lot of emphasis on not taking damage. That's that's a key for hog. Um. Also. Yeah, you, you you should try disengage a little faster. Just because you don't die it doesn't mean. I mean, Hog is is this, is a really deceptive hero. Um, yeah, like your crazy teammates. This is so ballsy. Um, for Genji, uh, try to create more off angles. Be more annoying. I feel like your Sombra was uh, the way you play Sombra was more annoying to your opponents than, than your Genji. And I saw a couple oh. moments uh, awareness, like you failed to see um, McCree, Ash, and stuff. Oh my God. Um, for Sombra, obviously, better aim helps. But until you do, like when you're off the target, just don't shoot. E even like Overwatch League level tracers, you can see them do that. They're off the target, they let go. Um, yeah, right here has a little bit positioning stuff. Okay, so. This is kind of like strategic level. I see you hack the hog a lot. So what that does is helping your uh, EMP. Hog is really good for farming EMP. But um, sometimes you have to treat your Sombra more like a like a DPS shutdown. Like in this game, the enemy Ash is carrying pretty hard and um, by pressing the ash more often your, your team probably has easier time well, we don't have to combine we just have to follow up that's it yeah so not only your EMP has value but um, I'm EMP. but pr pressuring those like carry DPS can also be really valuable oh, no, 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 no. and then a certain 1v1s or, or even um, just normally I think you jump too much it, it makes yourself a little bit easier to, to hit um, what else over here the positioning could be better so be more useful in that case Also for here, just try to u u use this uh, high ground more. It'd be more annoying. Creates uh, off angle. You don't have to translocate out as much. Like right here. Is it? Uh, let's see. You have a hog over here, right? Is it easier for a hog to hook you here or up here? You see what I mean? You can still do, like right here it is a reasonable, uh, within the reasonable fall off range. You can still hack, you can do things, but you're much safer. And you don't need to translocate out as often. You do more damage, far more EMP, just overall better. And if, if the enemy decide to look up at you, or do uh, use abilities, cooldowns, blitz, whatever on you, they cannot throw it 
onto your teammates. Whereas right here, you're going to general direction. Maybe some of those things are going to hit your uh, teammates. So creating off angles. Uh, so you want to um, relieve your frontline pressure even without an EMP. Because one of the theme in this match is your frontline dies a lot. And by uh, asserting like an off angle or even flanking direction, uh, that helps a lot. You draw resources to you instead of uh, your teammates. And then um, on your pressures, I know hog is easy for farming, but uh, sometimes you want to recognize their carry and uh, pressure them more. And movement wise, yeah, jump a bit much. Okay, Gruber, 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 Gruber. Send it to Gruber. Can we get points? Battle Mercy. Yeah. Those are some big points. And over here, like where to engage. The best place for this map will be here. Not here. Okay, and I explained earlier. Alright. Thank you guys very much, and see you next time. Hope you all climb. Peace.